Oh, what's up, my AKA Patters? Busy day yesterday. Uh, it's a little bit of a slowdown with this IT crisis I've been speaking of in my videos. Uh, the slowdown is just, I think, people from uh, straight up exhaustion. Yesterday, uh, yeah, I kind of had a lot of drawing time planned. Could not quite get around to that. Uh, I was locked in on akapad.com, the website, just trying to do this one feature. And along the way, uh, you guys saw the Ed Piscor, you guys saw the um, the EBS stuff, and you know, just basically what my response was car to cartoonist K fake, as I like to call them. And a lot of these things are just coming together right now. The, oh, comments. What? Uh, comments. Quick. What is up, Total Excellence? Total. It's key. Uh, what's happening with the comic book? Give me an update on the Gators. And uh, Crypt says, what's up? Give me an update. But, yeah. So, uh, you know, we did pick up some subscribers. We we got a little bit of traction. Uh, a lot of DMs from all the Ed Piscor stuff. And the EBS appearance last night. Uh, happy, grateful, thank you guys so much. And uh, well, if you're new here, uh, we're drawing the most hated GI Joes, and this is really, you know, uh, I know some a lot of you are being introduced to me in different ways, but today we're drawing Raptor. Now, when you think of the worst GI Joes, the ones everyone hates, the first one uh, is. Captain Gridiron here. That was, and then, uh, I don't know, I got this other idea for Captain Gridiron, but then we went to Hardball, and then uh, last week we did uh, Ice Cream Soldier. But for me, like, literally the first one that came to mind when I kind of got this idea was Raptor here, uh, mostly because he just does not fit. Like, Raptor just it's like it's a subliminal like you might call it branding you you can call it anything you want sorry i'm just we're just cleaning off the desk here you can call it anything you want but raptor just doesn't feel like gi joe call it branding call it and like, like something on that level but the branding of this character as a cobra it just never gelled and never fit uh, along the way, just imagery wise, you know, we've had a lot of luck with, uh, I don't know, like vicious winged heroes and villains in comic book history. Uh, one of them is sitting right next to me, Ascension here. And you kind of would say, you know, this is how we have to position Raptor. And, uh, you know, like low hanging fruit, easy instincts, I would say, yeah. Uh, this is how we have to position drawing Raptor. He's got to, like, his his wings really do have to kind of come in on, I'm trying to get different pictures, right? Like, like Raptor's wings can save him, right? I mean, this looks like a cool G.I. Joe action figure. But is there something else, right? Like, that's a little bit of what we want to dig, dig around in. We want to explore... And that's also why a lot of the previous week's work has, um, yeah, you know, like it's been incomplete and unrealized. So cheers to all of you guys. Happy Sunday. I, I apologize for not being able to do this on Saturday. But we had a house guest yesterday. And it was really kind of dealing with that. There was some, uh, you know, house guests, spring cleaning, all, all that good stuff. Uh, but mostly, uh, it was me just trying to make time to make time for, for this. I'm catching up uh, the style I'm currently laying for the lace variant cover. Uh, Itsuki, quick question. Uh, like, where are you on the pages, though? Um because you just, like, should it go the other way? Should you, I'll tell you just from experience, it's maybe better to to start cataloging pages than do the variant stuff. How many variant covers overall are you uh, looking for or trying to get? But, yeah, let's get into Raptor here. We're just thinking out loud. 
thinking and sketching out loud. Like, what do we do to get this guy? I mean, he's going to look cool with just, like, proper shading and stuff, right? There we go. And I'm look, I am going just from the the tip of my brain here. I also feel like anatomy wise, shouldn't Raptor have um like a bigger back? Because right, like he's gotta pull those wings. See, and we kind of maybe like like, we are using some of the Finch stuff from Ascension here, like, easily. But it's hard not to because um, the Ascension stuff, uh, just when it comes to that type of character, it's just, it's it's perfect. You know, like, uh, Ascension is one of the best, even, you know, like, short-lived series, but it's still just one of the, the absolute best. Yo, Lord Tatum! Dude, Lord Tatum, uh, that that post you sent me in, um, that might be a video today, dude. Um, watch if I do a video, I will shout out you uh, easily. Uh, I'm I'm debating on what the the next couple moves should be. I don't know if you want to add some guidance to that, but um, did you see that the Facebook group now has comments disabled? And you kind of want to say there's people hitting up uh, the K fake comments right now. They're just getting removed. I haven't caught any in real time, but I haven't been on completely on top of it. But Tatum, dude, Tatum, uh, you're in Jersey. Do do I know you? What part of Jersey are you in? Because Jersey's my Jersey's my state, bud. I'm really Ross. The, uh, I grew up in Jersey, but I am, you know, right across the bridge here in Philly. We're just, just I don't know, we're like, I just, feel, <coughs> excuse me, I just feel like there's a lot of this that is already coming off as obvious. You know, and I hate being obvious with any of my takes. But obvious sometimes also uh, gets the job done. Bergen County. Uh, yeah, Saddlebrook, dude. Yeah, Morristown now. Uh, Morristown North, right? Right, because there's more rest. I always get these two mixed up. There's Morristown North, and then there's Morristown, which is closer towards me. Or do I have them uh, flip-flopped? Oh, it's Tack Main. I'm sorry. I <laughs> I like tattoos. Uh, sorry. You know, hey, Tack. Tack is a good thing you corrected me, because if I dropped your name and your handle on a video today... Uh, I would have mispronounced it. Oh, uh, it's in Morris County. Yeah, okay. That explains. Well, hey, dude, welcome, welcome. I, I do, I, and I appreciate the the interaction. Yeah, Morris Town is south. Correct. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm near the the S town. I'm I'm near this one. Uh, I grew up maybe a solid twenty minute drive from this town. Uh, I went to a banger wedding one time in this uh, in this Morristown right here. Uh, hell of a wedding. Uh, really uh, up in the country club, too. Good time, though. Good time. Uh, but this one, yeah, I grew up around this one. So um, just in this general area, too, they used to have, like, two giant uh, bookstores. Uh, a lot of malls in driving distance. Uh, you could really... Uh, just like do stuff like you can spend Saturday and Sunday afternoons just driving from one to the other looking for stuff. That's a little bit of like post high school life uh, when it comes to that part of, of Jersey. But yeah, uh, Tate or Tat, I'm sorry, Tat. Uh, where are you with GI Joe? You get, do we have a favorite GI Joe <laughs> or a least favorite GI Joe? 
see, and then see, we're kind of getting. I don't know if I like some of these things. Like, you know, I guess like you, we have to make him prehistoric looking and savage. I don't even know, like, dude, I don't even know this guy's file card. I just remember having the toy when, when I was younger and kind of just being like, like, what are they doing? Uh, and it's funny when you have those, like, thoughts uh, as a kid. Just, like, you know, like, you kind of, um, during the 80s, I really, I mean, I'm sure it's more sophisticated now. But a lot of times in, in the 80s, when these products, like, fell off, uh, you really became, like, in your head, just as a observation, uh, you kind of became somewhat of a product developer and commentator, just seeing kind of like how the transformers fall off. And, and it's so funny how people recon this stuff now, just on a commentary sense. And they freaking act like uh, trans transformers didn't become complete garbage or generation two was a, 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 a a, a freaking joke and then there's people just spending more money on that the uh the kb orange devastator more than the original devastator just like weird stuff i don't know if you guys feel the same way i could be babbling too but we're going we, we're kind of trying to do a little bit of a creeper pose here i'm just trying to figure it out and that's a lot of what these streams are these streams are just hanging out uh, me being very vocal on what my decision processes, processes are and is, but we're not leaning into completed artwork. We're just trying to get some of these ideas out to maybe do a uh, little bit more completed artwork. But I do like the creeper pose. Oh, really? Dude, I never... Uh, I guess, like, I did hear about Garden State uh, Comic Fest. Never been there. I'm not much of a, of a uh, conventioner, like, believe it or not. Uh, I, I have a friend that will uh, take me around. And we're, like, in and out because we're just really looking for, like, very particular things. But when it's nice out, yeah. Are they really? Wow. I didn't even know, know that. Dude, great to, uh, great update. Maybe maybe I will go. I don't know. I, just, I don't feel like, um, like, when it comes to, like, some of the comic skate stuff, I mean, I am... Like a hundred percent, like a like a EVSer, like meaning um, I followed his uh, entire career. Like I know his. I mean, like even here, like what's behind me? Let's see. Uh, where is it? Right here. Let's see. One second, Mister Tat. Cause you now, like maybe I'll run this by you. Maybe I'll run this by you. Give me one second here. Let's see. I'm just trying to, I, I, I'm running to go grab the stack of books here. I keep a stack of books around for uh, upcoming video ideas. And, uh, you know, like the one stack becomes multiple stacks. So, like, I recently bought this, like, th this pile of impulses, right? And it was kind of like a blind purchase, I'll say. Because it was like a bag of them, right? So you buy, like, a bag of impulse. And and let's see. And the one facing, I bought the one facing. Might have been this one. 
because we have Vane Skyver here. So where's 49? Like, let's just get 40. So the upcoming video, uh, I should save this one for Christmas. So Impulse was a solid book, too. Like, again, solid, solid book. Uh, this is a part of the, what you would call, like, the Young Justice era of, um, you know, like, Teen Titans really were fading, and, and everything became Young Justice. And Young Justice is such a better place in DC history because Teen Titans had faded. And it wasn't for Teen Titans Go. Teen Titans were just, uh, I think, been fully replaced by Young Justice. Young Justice and characters like Impulse interconnecting statues they were faced uh, very quick to action figures and we had the attention from the death of superman and superboy so th there's just a lot of things uh yeah yeah uh impulse late 90s let's just uh 1999 so and this is a part of impulse as a character uh is and I'm, let's just get like a, a better cover See, uh, here we go. Oh, actually, wow. This cover works so well. Uh, Impulse, right here, was a part of the Flash era that is pre-Jeff Johns and pre-EVS Rebirth. By all of this, I mean that this the mid-90s to the 2000s was where the Flash family really came to light, where you could have spin-off characters, have long-standing series flash was still on his way of becoming a property it got solidified with jeff jones uh, jeff johns and evs but before then we had guys like jeff lopes here right uh the k fakers love the trash jeff lopes but i'm just trying to find the uh, the, the credits for this real quick i hate when they don't have credits in the beginning of books like why why is this <laughs> why isn't this more of a exact practice are we here we go uh oh no not jeff lobes uh william lobes okay so mark wade uh is really really the the guy that uh had success and everyone um they essentially copied mark wade but Impulse was really the focal point over Flash, to be 100% clear and honest about that. So I buy this stack, and, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to get, like, a little bit of a run of EVS on Impulse because, yeah, I was there. I remember when, when he uh, was so happy because he was the only one from the Hall of Heroes guys that really got solidified into a major publisher. Trent Kanigua, Kaniga from, from Creed, did not have much success at Marvel. Like, to be, again, clear about that. EVS getting into Impulse. It was major, and he was so young at this. So I buy this stack, and I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I'm sure he, he'll have a couple more issues, but... What I didn't realize how little of impulse he had, like that he he touched. The impact of it is huge, because a lot like you know he's one of the guys. When you think about this this title, you think about EVS, you thinking you think about Herberto Ramos, and, and like that's that's really it, right? So, on an upcoming video. Like, I just want this panel. Like, look at this page. Look at all these panels, right? But we're going to really kind of compare, like, what happens at 49. And then we, we literally turn the page and we get to 50. Because when we look at 49, we get something very different, right? We get something very different. And, and I'm not saying these are not good issues. These are. This is one of the forgotten runs. Not even underrated, forgotten. This is a great run. Solid six years of, of comics. Okay? At the time, 
your your trifecta if you were really reading DC. Actually, four fecta. It's it was Supergirl, Nightwing, Robin, Impulse. I mean, I'm I'm not joking. So yeah, we get this, right? But then we get into EVS. And we see the effing difference. I mean, the difference, right? And you're saying, well, he's drawing the Dark Knight. Okay, well, we go back a couple issues. We only go back three months. We get Superman. Superman comes to Manchester. So let's get Superman in this book, in this style. Okay. Right? Open lines looks looks too kiddy. Doesn't look serious enough. There's 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 obvious observations with all of this. But EBS comes on, and the way how he handles this, I mean it's it's such a leap, and you can only argue like here's here's the revelation. These two books are on the same deadline. They're on the same deadline. Same exact deadline. <laughs> and the level of work into Impulse 50 versus Impulse 49. Uh, I don't know. I mean, and then people want to act like he's not a storyteller and he's not capable of things. And uh, his opinions don't matter. I don't know. I mean, I think in life, Follow the masters. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you agree with them. And, uh, you know, I think that's a little bit, too, of what divided uh, a lot of the comic them or the fandom. It's just madness to me. And I'm kind of happy people um, responded to stuff like that. Because, you know, a lot of these things, they're, you know, like, it's not like I wasn't there. And it's not like I wasn't, um, uh, at the time, too, working in a comic shop. Uh, trying to do, like, working very hard. I uh, still am to do the uh, that same stuff. To be kind of recognized and paid attention to. So a lot of these, it's like, you guys saw, I, I really started with the head here. Uh, I didn't work on my under construction to get more of this torque. I should have. Because we're losing a little bit here. And this is where, I hate to say it, this is where so many people would just do this. You just shade that. Yeah, it's like, I'll I'll do a video. I, I'll clarify that, Lord. <laughs> LTA. <laughs> um, hey, Lord, who, who drew this, by the way? Who oh, okay? Who drew the uh, the uh, avatar here? But yeah, but I will. We will get into detail for sure. Yeah, clear talent, clear talent. Yeah, uh, I I hate to say it. That's a hundred percent. I I've had people. Um, I've had times where I was like in, like looking through a comic box. And you kind of pull up a uh, like a uh, like cyber frog, and someone goes off, like just like holy crap, dude! Like really unhinged stuff. Yeah, I don't think it's like you know, and that's a, that's a weird term. I don't, I, I honestly, God can't defend that term or or um or speak on it. I just feel like is isn't that, isn't far right. The same as woke now. It's just like almost like silly and, and, and antiquated. Yeah. Oh, I just go. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I think we need. Um, 
where are I wanted to do a run where some of you guys I did some uh I don't know thank yous and, and artwork for it because like what else can I do right and we have I think we have one here here we go is that is is this supposed to be you LT Yeah, but I'm just kind of like if we add, don't mind my uh, scratchiness. Yeah, we do like a nice thicker neck though, right? Nice traps. I do like the, the squished features. In my 52 years, I've never seen the country. Of, uh, yeah, dude. Um, I agree. I really do. Yeah. It's a self-portrait. Is this like a crown of thorns? I'm sorry. I'm just asking. I know I'm asking questions about your uh, avatar here. Is this a crown of thorns? Oh, you know what? I wish you guys could see my mouse. Uh, over here, crown of thorns. Looks like it. Let's see. Do we? It looks like. Do we have it like a wide nose? It's so small, I really cannot see it. But I like the idea of there being like a little bit of a, of a dead stare. Yeah, I think we need smaller eyes. Nah, it's my weird hair. <laughs> That's... LT, that might be the um, the comment of the day. Here we go. Here we go. It's almost like you got like a like a little bit of disgust. Here we go, dude. I don't know why I am digging this. Let me know if I'm going too far. We'll do like a you know stronger jawline. I mean, if you're if you're 52, you can take a hit, right? You can take a hit. Yeah, you, know, you grew up through the Reagan years. You can take a hit, right? So we'll do this. And what? Do we, do we have like a goatee? Do we have like some facial hair? Here we go. I can take a bullet, yeah. Yeah, isn't it funny where, um, like, are we in a generation of people now that don't have that type of just, like, um, I don't want to say bravado or confidence, but that type of just, um, you know, like, come at me with everything you got attitude? Because I don't see a lot of it in uh, some of the younger people in, in terms that I uh, deal with. I don't, and I and I hear that echoed on uh, quite a few other uh, sectors that that I deal with, even just from a nine nine to five type uh, situation, like you know, like work wise. I always do these like extra ribbed 
like collars. I don't know why. I always, I don't know. I just think it tells a little bit of a textured story. So now we got to get to like the hair, right? Dude, I am so scratchy today. I don't know why. Just when it comes to. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Uh... Yeah, and it's funny too, because like that's something I will still catch myself uh almost getting in trouble for not saying that i'm purposely like ever offensive but um it's just funny dude like it's uh yeah sensitivity is way too high sorry i'm just trying to duplicate a little bit of what i can see of the hair here There's something to just getting things done with the pencil and lead that, um, you know, if you spend a lot of time working with ink, you do kind of lose it a little. All right. Yeah, well... Oh, thanks, dude. Well, cheers, uh, LT. So let's, uh, can we get the, I cannot back the Pentel brush pens. They are these guys right here. Uh, available everywhere, AC Moores. Uh, even in Philly, you, you can catch these at some Walgreens and CVSs. Let's, uh, let's, let's ink this guy.
Yeah. <laughs> you got like a little bit of anime here, though, I'll say. You know, and I kind of, you know, look, I, I grew up when that stuff was really hitting American shores, right? Where uh, a lot of people just didn't know like what it was, how to take it. You know, like, ser like kind of, it gets deeper questions and more serious questions than people like to remember and you know like i, I kind of there like there was like this time where in american comics where uh people just didn't know what to do with the influences if it should really guide uh your style like your career or or what and it really kind of was the destructive nature of it was it more being like a fad at the time and people just not being able to make a bet on if it was a fad or not. And like, I still say like, you know, like a lot of creators lost going all in on anime style wise. And, you know, like, as opposed to kind of being a little bit more surgical with the way that they use it as an influence. And some people got lucky, dude, they got out of that era uh, with enough of a work history to kind of uh, keep going. We're just doing some contours here to kind of add a little bit more like movement to it. But the, uh, yeah, the anime, uh, you know, again, too, like, even Dragon Ball Z disappeared for a while, Pokemon. You know, like, if it wasn't for Pokemon Go and COVID kind of spiking Pokemon sales, you know, because people kind of inflated the collectible market for those cards, um, Pokemon really kind of would have went away. But, you know, like, that's the trial and tribulation, right? It takes, takes decades for some of these things to really become something. Even if they are instantly popular, they can still it could still can be a time. And we'll just grab a little bit of a pen here. Right, a little bit of a pen. To, uh, not that, like, I'll tell you one thing. This is one of my weird, weird, like, Peter at the table pet peeves is switching materials or switching applications. Uh, I like sticking with one thing. And I don't know why. You know, like, it's so funny. Because, you know, you get more. You get more when you change up your... Your, uh... Techniques. Yeah, and, and hopefully kind of, like, blend them a certain way. Yeah, yeah, Berserk just doesn't Berserk just look wild and fun. Uh I've seen like some videos on it, you know, and it's kind of like Berserk also seems to be I guess with the like right the creator died like right with or without finishing it, I'm not sure. Um that always seems to add like a, a fuel to the fire. 
like honest to god when, when um even like everything with dune uh lord of the rings really not being complete or up in the air uh, you know like as of a some level of a continuation before tolkien's death but berserk just uh visually just seems to it does capture my imagination but <laughs> it's hard for me to get into manga because uh you have to buy 30 40 volumes and and it's like there's no story that's that long i'm sorry there's no story that long like we need to end our stories and move on everyone this is like the same argument with the the wheel of time like wheel of time just needs some like <laughs> we need to move on <laughs> uh lt uh would you would you like to use this i can i can send this to you if you would like a new uh avatar or uh you know uh an image a brand now you can have this royalty free it is yours to do with it as you want make t-shirts make it into something get a uh, Times square billboard but this is me just kind of saying thank you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> wait, wait. Berserk is 12 volumes? Not those big ones, though, right? Is is it, Or is it three of those, like, Bible, those phone book size ones that are like a hundred dollars. Yeah, <laughs> it's all right, but <laughs> by the time you get back, we will uh uh we will have moved on. We'll we'll be back on Raptor. And I can't believe it's already been 42 minutes, everyone. Holy crap. We'll just sign this and move on. Is that Nice, yeah. Pixel Forge, uh, we're <laughs> so Pixel Forge. Just just to catch you up, uh, I was uh, Bible. Uh, okay, oh Bible volume. Okay, so we were just uh, redrawing uh, Lord Tatman's comics uh, avatar right here because I just had questions about this. Not saying this isn't fun and awesome and amazing, because it is. But, you know, sometimes you just want to do your own interpretations of things. So, uh, and that's what this whole G.I. Joe show is all about. Because we're working on this cat, Raptor. Not, not Raptor Man from Full Metal Jacket, by the way. Pork Roll, Mike. It's Pork Roll. It's not Taylor Ham. <sighs> But, um, come on. But, dude, uh, yeah, all day, all night, dude, give me, uh, give me pork roll. I love pork roll. Uh, three thick slices and about five eggs. You get, like, a sandwich like that. Uh, that's a home run, dude. And that will stick to your gut all effing day. All right. Can we get back to drawing the bird man? of Alcatraz here. We'll keep this up. 
Yeah, and you know, like he is. I do like he's got this like cool, like belt. He's got this belt here that is like bird wings. Also, like they they added as much bird stuff to his design. And you really do want to quite you do want to question. Like, do we know any of the commentary about this guy? Uh, I hate to say it. I'm not uh, a thousand percent on like the creation myths, we'll call it, or the, the cre uh creation more of G.I. Joe. Like, I don't know the stories behind where uh like snake eyes came from and and yeah i might know some of some of the surface stuff but i'm not as versed on some of the uh gi we'll call it like the the gi joe channels and it's you know dude it's like a little bit scary he's got like two sets of eyes too I've been trying to get better with a lot of my lighting uh, with this series. And the reason for that is I really, I always viewed my um, ability to light as one of my weak spots. And which is crazy because the better you light, uh, I think the, the, the faster of an artist you you become i think you become quicker because you can just make decisions real quick and you know they're going to look good <laughs> yeah <laughs> hey mike uh if you do you want a debate uh it's the i guess like i guess this affects the whole country the hot dog versus sandwich debate is is a hot dog a sandwich like that's the uh that's the debate taylor ham you know what lord lord ltc we're, we're done with this you don't get this now it's pork roll <laughs> no avatar for you But yeah, we kind of just want, but I like that he kind of has this like hanging, like pendant. It's like this triangle. And that's cool. So, you know, and I kind of want to draw that like shadowed on his chest here. Kind of like that, you know? See how that like, uh, it's, you know, I think, I think that's a, dude, and he is like shirtless like what is what this dude like he is a bizarre what a bizarre character to have in a military line and i think this year wasn't this year you had him you had this guy big boa uh you know, like I, I guess, like we all know, Big Boa, Boa really was supposed to be Rocky Balboa, right? But then, like you had like Croc Master too. Like you kind of just had these really questionable decisions. But Croc Master was cool as as a kid. That was a cool figure. Because you got the alligator. There's, there's, <coughs> what do they call that? Like play value? Definitely more play value when it comes to uh, Croc Master. And I guess, like, in a sense, like Raptor here, like right here, right? Like he came with, oh, he's got makeup on. Like, he came with, like, you know, he came with the little falcon or whatever. He's got, like, feathers here. 
he's so goofy. Look, <coughs> it's hard to get to get over it. Like just when you drill into what you, like what the decisions must have been, uh, it gets <laughs> it gets confusing and fascinating though. See, and let's curl up some of these like fins here. See, I just also think like he, like whenever the vanish point that you see him, it should kind of be, uh, you see like this piece first. And this kind of um, like mesmerizes like the prey, it distracts or whatever. Yeah, you know, and I kind of like the headpiece because we get to kind of, you know, maybe make it a little bit like a mullet. I'm not sure how that's going to hang on him though. We'll have to kind of you know, just like when it comes to the barracks and the, the military meetings, like how do you take this guy seriously? Has he been do we know has he been tackled in the comics though? Did they you know, like, were they kind of aware enough later to add a, like, a backstory to them? Yeah, North Jersey. <laughs> I know. North <laughs> That's almost like the, um, like in uh, Anchorman, when the, all the new stations fight. Like everyone in Jersey just really wants to fight about the, the name of Park Roll. What are we doing? I really like duplicating or just kind of like taking, see, it's hard to tell here, but see like his headpiece, you know, like make that into a mullet. So and now it's like the, it's like, what do we do? Like, Right, like this is how we want the wings. Yeah, and then like this is how we understand maybe like how deadly like how deadly of a character this is. Uh, 
like something like that, you know, like where. But it's we don't take over. Like we're not taking, <laughs> we're not adding to him working as a military figure or military character. Like what is what does this say about he is so right? Like he is bizarre. He's so bizarre. And I like that he has like some type of like metal. I don't know what it is. Is it a holster? Does he have a gun? I do like that he has uh, just like military, like he, he just has like regular boots on, like no clawed feet or anything, like nothing. Like nothing obvious, I'll say. Nothing obvious. Yeah, and I love the idea. He's got these like maybe like bunched like leather gloves. Again, I'll keep playing with like the idea of what I'm doing with some of my blacks. to be we have to be honest like if we bought this action figure right 1987 i believe 86 87 like right here and then we went into a comic shop or on a newsstand and saw this we would buy this comic right because like we're still crazy about gi joe at this point right gi joe's not faded into the darkness yet I think we would be into it. All right, AK Patters. Look, I cut these off when I'm when I reach a happy point. We'll be back. Uh, subscribe, support, leave a comment. More videos coming. We will be doing more with uh, K Fake today. Uh, I also wanted to do a different drop today, so there might be two drops today. Uh, I still have to work out. There's a lot of things I gotta do. I gotta do a lot of prep work for potential tonight night work tonight. And then prep work for meetings tomorrow. There's just a lot. Uh, LTC, I will get this to you right away. I'll scan this in, zap it over to you, okay? Um, anyone that, look, guys, uh, real quick, too. Uh, Pixel Forge, Mike, uh, anyone out there that wants one of these for their 
emoji. Just let me know. We'll do it for you. Okay? Love you guys. Rock and roll.